Brian Brown. Introduce yeah. ourselves. I'm Charles Mosley. I'm Roger Garbo. We're driving with idiots. Back again. Yep. And talk about the car. Roger, what are we in? Well, we are in a 2016 Bentley Continental GTC, C designating the convertible. Convertible. And this is the speed version, which means it goes faster. Why won't you buy a convertible? I feel it is a... Uh, Sam. It's a chick car. There you go. Sorry. We know a lot of women who are excellent drivers, who are very fast, who race on the track. It's got nothing to do with it. I'm trying to be politically correct. I know you are. It sickens me. <laughs> um, here's the thing. It's a societal statement you're making, which I think is true, which is, when did society give convertibles to women? And why? When did that happen? I think it happened when the Americans, uh, in 76, stopped making full-size convertibles with the last Cadillac. Yeah. And before that, in 75, the last B. Also, GM you know what? If you look B-box. at the Volkswagen Beetle convertible. That's what happened. All the big American convertibles went away. Yeah. All the small British convertibles went away. And at the com- same time. And, and you brought up a good point. A lot of wealthy individuals bought the convertible for their, you know, for their, what's this? Kept woman, whatever you would call it. Oh, them. mistress. Mistress, yes. And if you're really wealthy and you've got a very attractive kept woman, you buy one of these. Yeah. So, but your opinion of the GTC being a chick car, part of that philosophy comes from convertibles, which are cars in general. Yes, and also the people you see typically driving this car are, you know, women. You well, don't see a lot of guys, at least around this part of the country. In in you go to South Beach or, or Southern California, and it's probably more gender neutral. But well, I think that has to do with the emasculation of society as a whole. I have noticed many more. Women driving with men in the car. In the passenger seat. Yes. Yes. When did that happen? Well, Charles, in your perfect world of the 1950s, women weren't even allowed to drive. No, they were. Of course they were allowed to drive, but they graciously didn't and let their husband or male drive for them. (laughs) They're male. (laughs) Because it's part of the gentlemanly you drive. Then you get out and you open the woman's door. Yes. Very true. But now so, men are okay. such pussies. They say, oh, you drive me, I don't want to drive, I don't like driving at night, oh. So if if your spouse or woman or whatever is driving and you're in the passenger seat and you stop, do you get out and run around and open her door? Does she open your door? If, well, I, I don't know because I've never been a passenger with a woman driving. Ever. I have occasions. One time I was dying. Yes, they drove me to the I was hospital. just going to say, because I know about that. Yeah. So I know. And they drove me to the hospital. I couldn't. And I said at the time, I said, I'll drive myself. And they all said, no, you can't do that. So a car like this, I actually do enjoy. I like the Bentley very much. But, look, there's a but. The back seat's ridiculous. Yep. So why have it? which they've rectified on the GT3R. Thank you. By eliminating it. Yep. Um, It's $300,000. Oh, this was $240 something, which isn't terrible, but it's a lot of money for a car. If I want an expensive convertible, this would not even be in my top 10. Really? Yeah. What would be a budget? Doesn't do it for me. Um, Unlimited budget. What are your convertible choices? Vanquish convertible, certainly. Um, a probably a, a, a four fifty eight convertible. Um, Those are real convertibles, though. Spider? Yeah, it is. Nah, it's a, it's not a the McLaren. The McLaren is a silly one, but um, the uh, even like a the Porsche nine eleven Turbo S, um, which is amazingly quick. And you know what? To be honest, I'd be very happy with the Jaguar F-Type. Yeah. I love that car. It, yeah. You know, especially with the big engine. It's a bit small. Phenomenal. Not for me. That's true, but you'd have to have everybody be your size. If Do you saying, have a lot of short friends? Do you have a lot of little nah, people friends? Yeah, you actually have too many tall friends. I have to pare them down. <laughs> Literally and Yes, yes. Hack them off the knees. Hack them off the knees. All right, so, so, your, so your top choices are... 
Aston, Ferrari, Porsche, Jag, over this. Not the Porsche, the Porsche. Because you have to be that pretentious when you drive one of those. That is true. I grant you that. Are you saying to me that the only people who buy this car are people who buy them for their mistresses? No, I'm not saying that at all. There's a lot. Okay. It's a very nicely put together machine. That's it's nice. beautiful. It's like a. Be it's like an expensive watch. Right. You don't need it. You have other watches that cost a, a, a small percentage of that watch that will tell time just as well. However, there's something about the expensive watch. So, are you getting one of the drawbacks of a convertible? Yo. Oh, which are the smells of, of low tide. Ooh. Low tide clam smell. Ooh. You think there'd be a filter or something for that? Well, how? No, I just filter I would the, have like filter a bubble. the world. Yes, like one of those invisible bubbles. That's not a bad idea. Actually, filter the world. So compare this to a Rolls Royce. Now, see, that's interesting. That's the comparison we got to talk about. We're gonna yeah. swap driving seats. We'll have that conversation. All next. right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.